Hey everyone, this is the first part in a series of videos focused on how to use my model tool and to uh, create effects and stuff for Conquer Online. So we'll start right off here. This is a weapon that I purchased on the Unity Asset Store and I converted to a C3 model. You'll notice though if I go in game, that's not really big enough for a spear. As you can see, like it, it works properly, it's positioned fine, but it's just not big enough. So what you would do is you would go into the model viewer and I would strongly recommend opening up the settings file and hard coding a path. That way, every single time you open up the model viewer, it's going to load that specific mesh, that specific texture. So in this case, I've already done that and it's loaded into it here. So all I would do is I would either double click the parent here if there was multiple objects or the object itself, doesn't make any difference. And at that point, I can go ahead and scale it. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase this by about 30%. Uh, it's probably gonna be about what we want. So when I do that, as you can see, it goes ahead and scales, and then we'd go ahead and export. So in this case, I just need to go to the proper path and overwrite the file that I already had. So 565.44.c3. Help if I clicked yes. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna reopen the client. I already have one ready here. And as you can see, that's a lot bigger. Uh, that's around the size we would want for a spear, but it might not necessarily fit all the effects and you might not want it uh, quite that size. Uh, so we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, shrink this down a bit. So about 0.8. Make sure that we can actually see what we're doing here. And maybe increase it again a bit. You may end up doing uh, a bunch of tweaks here, but it's going to be worth it in the end. We'll go ahead, reopen the client so we can preview our changes. And that's about what we'd want. So this spear already looks pretty good on its own. That's one of the reasons that I chose it. Uh, it's pretty good size. I'm happy with how it is. So at this point, you would move on to adding effects. That's going to be in the next video here. This is only focused on uh, resizing and repositioning. Again, you, you could go ahead and apply rotation or uh, position offsets here as well, and those work properly. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.